I'm Yaba Beidou, a writer and filmmaker. For years, I've been fascinated by stories that link ordinary, middle-aged women like myself to witchcraft. Witchcraft belief permeates Ghanaian culture. It's a part of the ether we breathe here. And this, in a country proud of its human rights record. I discovered that there were over a thousand women condemned for witchcraft living in camps. Asana was tortured by her brother, who threatened to pluck out her eyes if she didn't confess to witchcraft. Azara was once a prosperous trader with a restaurant and a house of her own. During an outbreak of meningitis, she was one of three successful women accused of starting the epidemic. Salmata is now a confirmed witch. Her guilt was determined by how a chicken died when it was slaughtered. The government has to come in and be proactive. The community has to be educated and to accept the fact that these women are not abnormal. Unless the government engages in a wide-scale education campaign, it seems that a woman's future is going to be determined, as it has been over the past hundred years, by the way a chicken dies.